The big story tonight, a bed bug infestation at a Hampton motel. A man is in the hospital with sores. So tonight, 10 on your sides, Jason Marks tracked down hotel management. Jason, what did you find out? Well, Nicole, we were told that the problem was taken care of, but when we went to check out the man's motel room, there we saw a bed bug right on his mattress. You don't see him, but you feel him. Most people don't like being confined to a hospital bed, but Hampton's Robert Malcolm isn't complaining. For him, it's much better than the one at home. You ain't in this sweet. You might feel something. You wake up, there's about five or six on you. Malcolm has been living with bed bugs. They've been eating away at his skin every night. He's got scars upon scars. The tiny bugs put more stress on his already weakened heart, which landed him here at the hospital over the weekend. You feel a tiny little bit crawling, crawling, crawling. Then when you catch them, and squeeze them, and they ain't nothing but blood. Malcolm lives here at the Hampton Manor Motel on Pembroke Avenue. He says he told management several times about the infestation, but the problem was never taken care of. Do you know anything about bed bugs? Ten on your side went to Hampton Manor management to find out what was going on. Can I talk to you about Robert Malcolm? Management wouldn't talk to us until we turned the camera off. They said Malcolm never came in to complain. The manager told us it's impossible to control bed bugs because you have new people coming and going. Though he did say Malcolm's room was just treated by pest control. Malcolm's daughter let us into his room and though it looks clean, take a closer look. There was blood stains on his pillows. We found roaches and other moving bugs on the floor. And then on his mattress, there it is, a live bed bug. I don't know what you can do for it. You feel them biting, you go in there and take your shower. That might help, then you, go, you gotta get back in the same bed. Malcolm says he's not going back to the motel. In the meantime, 10 on your side has learned the health department was at the complex looking into the bed bug problem. Oh boy, I don't wish it on nobody. And as I was out there, several residents came up to me saying they were having bed bug problems too. One woman had bites all over her arms. Malcolm says his room's paid for through January, but as I mentioned, he has no intention of returning. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.